Having good mic quality on your videos and streams is so, so important, and you can actually make any mic, whether it's a headphone mic or a normal, a normal USB mic or anything, doesn't matter, you can make it sound professional, or at least better, so it, so if you're just doing a few things in a few minutes, so that is why I am in today's video gonna be exactly showing you guys how you can set up or make your, your microphone that you have right here sound professional using OBS, with, if you, if you you filters so if you do find any of this helpful then why not subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on to not miss a single tutorial that I make uh, that will mean a lot and also leave a like on the video if you find this video helpful with that so let's get straight into the video so the first thing you want to do is open up OBS it doesn't matter OBS stream ups OBS OBS studio it honestly doesn't matter it's the same process so and when you have opened up OBS go to down to sources and add your mic if you haven't already so I'm gonna add an input to capture which is my mic obviously and device select whatever Whatever mic that you want to use, I have my Hyperx quad Quadcast that I am um, talking in right now, so I, I will add that and then hit OK. When you have your mic added to your OBS, you want to um, add some filters and stuff to it. So what you want to do is go, right click the source, well your mic source, and then hit filters. This will take you to all the filter menu of OBS, and here from here you can you want to add a few filters. So first filter that you want to add is compressor. Now you hit OK on, on it, and you honestly don't need to do a lot of things with the compressor, unless you you really need, you know what these do and you know you know what settings that you want to have. Um, but otherwise, you honestly don't need to change anything. This will make your voice really come through a lot smoother and better, and it will change up the audio a bit. But that's a good in a good way, of course. And uh, when when we have the compre compressor done, then what you want to do is add a noise gate or a noise suppression. Now they are down here. Here, uh, next to each other or on top of each other and I'm gonna explain to you what what the difference is between them so basically noise gate you want oh mainly only have this uh, if you have a very noisy background in very a very rushed house with a lot of people in the, in the background then it basically it, it, OBS will only pick up your voice or the voice that is well basically closest to the mic that it can catch up so then hopefully uh, the most of the background noise will be eliminated but um I really i'd suggest if you don't have a very noisy background then i suggest you choose noise suppression because this will only uh, make the back background sound a little uh, a little less and it will focus more on your voice than well the other noises that are going on in your house so i'm gonna add a noise suppression because i have a well a, a relatively quiet room i'd say so if you add a noise suppression you you can have it on a uh, 30 a minus 30 decibels um, but if you feel like you want to have it on more or less than you can change it now of course all settings that I show you guys today they they vary uh, depending on what mic you have because all my sound differently um, so I, I can tell you exactly what settings that you should have um, but on the noise compression or noise gate uh, and compressor you can actually have them on the default one so when you got these two done you want to add a gain filter and what this will do is it will basically uh, it will basically uh, strengthen your voice and make it louder but if you feel like your voice is already loud enough you don't need to add a gain filter but um if you feel like you know you want to strengthen your voice and make it sound better for your uh, for the stream or videos then you add a gain and uh, you, you know you play around uh, as i said doesn't it varies really much I can't tell you what adding gain you have to try around test record and see uh, what gain setting that you feel is good um, but let's say I, I want a 3.50 decibel um, uh, strengthen on my voice with gain filter then yeah that's cool and but basically, basically the gain filter will take over your voice and make it sound a uh, well stronger and in some cases if you're maybe maybe scream in your microphone phone or something or maybe to come too close then then the the great gain will make it sound horrible for your viewer honestly so, so to kind of take away that little um, ear rape or wh whatever you want to call it you want to actually add a limiter and this and this will basically eliminate the gain when it comes over a threshold I think I'm not really too educated in the OBS filters but I think that's how it is so if you add a filter a limiter then um, there's one last thing that you want to do here with the filters and that is to 
change the threshold first hold to whatever gain you had with well minus so um, here we had 3.50 or 3.5 then what you want to do is scroll down like this until you get to 3.50 so I'm gonna like this way 3.50 so basically when the gain strengthens your voice or makes it so too loud then the limiter will take care of it for you so it, it won't be such a horrible or such a bad audio audio experience for your audience um, so well this is all the filters that you want to change um, you can you're free to close this now as I say you obviously want to test record your voice in, in OBS and it just Feel around with and try around with settings and see if it sounds good. If it doesn't sound good, change a few things and uh, then come back, come back and test record. You can. Uh, and one thing that you might want to do is if the if if here the audio mixer, if the audio goes up to the red over here, you actually want to um, make it. Uh, you want to actually lower the volume a little bit, not too much, uh, because obviously it's your voice. You don't want to lower it so your audience can can hear it. But um, you get what. I mean so so basically it's not too loud um that, that i think i went through everything here if you do have any questions uh, about this then remember to leave them in the comment section down below and i will help you out i promise this video helped remember to smash the like button down below and if you and if you are interested in growing our twitch channel or well youtube channel by doing these small small things that i show you guys then remember to subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on to not miss a single video that i upload if that's it see you next video Starks out.